You've got to remember when you there's a tendency to start running off now. <laughs> so you make the moves and you think, yee, -hee, easy ground. But actually a bit of a pause and a before you end up running up with no gear for ages, you know, a bit of a pause and a look around and see if there is anything to get in. You like that H? Excellent. I'll try and keep it tight as you swing around. Yeah, so there's not much there. Fairly happy here. Just clearing things off, seeing where my feet are going. I'm going to try and put a bit of, bit of gear in here before I get onto the easier ground, because uh, we do tend to not do that. And there's, I've cleaned a crack out, and I've, I've got a wire in here. It's okay, but I'm just going to tap it in, and that's, yeah. You don't need to go crazy with these things. I mean, you do see people really cold welding them in. Be realistic, tap it in, and you can feel if it's got good surface contact on both sides. Give it a bit of a tug and a tap down. And you're looking for it not to move when you give it that tug. So that's good, I'm happy with that. It tends to be when, I tend to have a set of wires for winter because they do get a little bit of abuse and I keep a, a really nice clean set for summer. And there's a natural progression when my summer wires get a little bit chewed, then they become my winter wires. And my winter wires get chewed, they go in the bin because they, you know, they really do get trashed. You probably saw me putting a beaner in my mouth earlier. Um, it's a habit, you know, it's, it's not a great thing to do, particularly if it's really cold. We're lucky today, it's not particularly cold. It's freezing levels probably just around where we are at the moment. So, you know, it's really going to hurt your lips if you put a, a, a beaner in your mouth and it's freezing cold. Norway and places like that, for gold's sake, don't do it. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those things. Right, I'm going to make a lot of snow as I go up this final gully once I've put this wire in. But thankfully, Heather is really tucked on a, in, a, in the cave there. And, and that's a great thing. When you're looking for winter belays, you're looking for them to be solid and bomber, but also if they've got a little bit of protection, if they're just tucked out the way to the left or the right of the firing line of all the junk that's going to come down when the second becomes the first and leads through, then that's a good thing as well. You know, so she's in a really good place there, so I can, I can hoover up this and clear it full of junk as, as I want to when I go. Right, I'm clipped. Not a bad wire. Easy ground ahead of me, so I can just crack on now and, and head up to the Beely, I think, and we'll, we'll get sorted. So again, as, as Heather mentioned before, it's a bit turfier that I'm not so keen on, but I don't really need to use it too much. I can be, everything can be on my feet and I can just dagger in here and just bridge and not be hauling on my tools, pulling it through this turf. I can just be quite gentle with it. Sweet, off we go. 